Hi folks, I hope you had um, uh, fun analyzing the open field uh, data. And I, I'm, I'm just curious, are you surprised by the results? So what we found was that there was no significant strain effect, meaning that we could not identify uh, a difference between the HA lines, the CA lines, and the LA lines overall in the data set for all three anxiety-like behaviors, including the latency to leave the central square, the time spent in the central square after leaving initially, and then locomotor activity as measured um, uh, by line crossings. However, there are some interesting replicate effects, meaning that the LA1 and LA2 line are significantly different for the latency to leave the central square. In addition, those two lines are also significantly different for the time spent in the central square. And then the CA1 and CA3 lines are significantly different for their locomotor activity level as well as the LA1 and LA2 lines. So for the discussion, I would like you to focus on a few key concepts here. First, since there is no strain effect, what does this mean for the overall OCD model of this mouse model for obsessive compulsive disorder? Uh, secondly, what do you make of uh, the differences uh, between replicate lines and how uh, did the result actually compare to your, the original hypothesis that you had before you started the analysis. Now in addition I would like you to comment on which behaviors you think within the open field were the most appropriate for uh, measuring anxiety like behavior in the mice and then lastly, I would like you to incorporate all the uh, three behaviors and rank every single strain from high anxiety to low anxiety. And then give a short, um, a brief explanation of why you rank them that way. So I hope this was uh, an enjoyable uh, exercise and analysis of the data. And I'm very much looking forward to your discussion of the results.